Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a string of lights that isn't working all the way. Now on this string of lights, you can see on one side they light up, and on the other end of the string they light up, but the middle section doesn't work. What you're going to need to test this is a voltmeter. Um, you, can get these, you can pick these up pretty cheap at Harbor Freight, uh, five or six bucks. You just need something that will measure AC voltage. So I've got my meter set to AC voltage, and I've got one of the leads plugged into the end of the the end of the string of lights and with your other lead you want to start off at the very first LED that is not lit. Now most of these have a little tab that you have to flip up to get the LED out. Just pop it out and there's two terminals in here. One of these terminals should have zero volts, the other should have roughly 120 volts. So that one has zero, go to the other side, you can see I'm 123 and a half volts. So each one of these LEDs has a voltage drop of two to three volts. So in this strand that's unlit, that's 50, 50 LEDs, and if you do three volts drop, two and a half volts drop, 50 times, you're going to be right at 120 volts. So, starting at this LED, this LED will consume roughly 2.5 volts. The next one will consume another 2.5 volts, and on down the line. So, the second LED, we're going to measure the voltage there, and same way, one, one of the terminals will have voltage, the other will not. So, I'm at 121 volts. So, we know we've got proper voltage drop across this LED, and going on down. The reason this section doesn't work is somewhere along the line, one of these LEDs is bad. So current is not getting through the LED to power the rest of them. The problem is finding which one is bad. You've got 50 of them, and you can go on down the line testing. If you have a, a good replacement LED, which I've got here, I could go swap this in for every single one on down the line until it started working. And that can be painstaking. So. We're just going to do a simple process of elimination. Um, we know that at some point we're going to need voltage on one side, no voltage on the other. And we don't really care what the voltage is because it's going to depend on where in the string of lights we're testing. So to cut the time in half, we can literally cut the string in half, start in the middle. So we know we had 120 volts at the first LED. We'll go roughly in the middle, pull this one, and Zero volts, zero volts. So we know that the issue is somewhere between here and the first LED that is not lit because we have no voltage at this point. So just looking along my string here, I've got this one right here that doesn't have a cover on it. It shows physical damage, so I'm going to start there. All right, so any voltage? Nothing. No voltage. So I need to go back farther. I'll go to the next one. Voltage, nothing. Nothing. Oh, I got voltage there on this side. So voltage, I've got voltage on this side of this socket. And when I put the bulb in, or put the LED in, I should have voltage on this side of the socket, but I'm not getting that. So, if you've got a spare bulb, you can go ahead and throw your bulb in. Um, if you happen to not have a spare bulb, and you're just trying to find where the issue is, uh, what you can do is, I've just got some solid copper wire that I've bent over into a U-shape, and then I covered the end of it with electrical tape. Because you are working with 120 volts AC here, so you don't really want to be hit by this, but this is just going to basically short out this socket. You don't want to do this long term, but it's you can do it short term just to verify that this is the faulty bulb. So I'm going to stick this in here <coughs> just to verify, and you can see the rest of my lights came on. So I'm now passing current through this socket, and it's powering the rest of the bulbs. So which one was it? Oh, yep. Looking at this green bulb here, you can see this side there's a little silver 
contact, but when I flip it over, there's no contact there. So there was nothing actually touching the contact inside the socket, therefore the current wasn't able to flow. So I'll put the replacement in, and there we go, and we're fixed. Now we can go hang them up on the roof, be ready for Christmas. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Talk to you later. So an LED is a light emitting diode. So voltage that is going that way will cause the light to go on. Voltage going this way, the light won't light. How this works is it's alternating current. You plug it into your mains voltage or your house wiring, it's alternating current. So the current goes back and forth. And it goes back and forth at a frequency of 60 hertz. So that's 60 times a second, it's going back and forth. So these are actually flashing 60 times a second. You can't really see it when they're holding still. But if you move them, and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up because the camera shoots 30 frames per second. And this is happening 60 times a second. So I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. But it should look like it's strobing. We'll see if it does. In person I can see it.